Ladies and gentlemen, I have something very important to tell you. Planning your day is actually pretty simple. And by pretty simple, I mean extremely complicated if you have anything going on regarding interpersonal things and work and side work and other work because the economy is the economy. California is bankrupt and California, California which means you need to make money. But you also have a personal economy where you wanna make time with your friends. And all of these different things are so hard to deal with and I just struggle with it. But I'm here to help you make it easier on yourself. Now, first of all, I wanna make it very clear that while I do use Notion in this video, a lot of the principles that I'm going to talk about here are actually not going to be stuck in the realm of like, I use Notion and this is why you should follow what I do. This video is going to be utilizing a couple of different tools. And the concept of these tools are pretty simple. One, you have a place where you have a task list, and this can be Notion, which has databases for me that have tasks within them. This could be Todoist, which is a great to-do list app. You can use a lot of these different tools. And the third would be a place where you can utilize a calendar and drag your tasks onto it so that you can plan your day accordingly. So what I have here is a list of tasks that are on my to-do list for tomorrow, but unfortunately, I don't really have the ability to do all of these in one day. So planning is very important because, well, we've talked about in other videos how you can input different things like tasks you need to get done. All of the things on this list may not get done unless you're working the entire day and they're pretty short tasks. As you can see here, I have a couple different categories of priority. Uh, we have content, which is essentially me recording content or cleaning up files with content. And then we have high priority, which I accidentally label this high a lot. So I'm gonna show you how I would reorganize some of these so that they wouldn't be high priority, but they would be medium. And then from my perspective, low priority is a hilariously like non-starter and I barely put things in low. And if things end up going into the low category, I will end up just removing them from my task list. So then I have some other tasks here in this thing called MRT Backlog. MRT Backlog is pretty cool. It's essentially my list of small tasks that I do within like an hour long block at the beginning of my day or whenever I'm getting into a lull. Um, there's some very basic things you can do that shouldn't take you like more than like five minutes, right? And putting them in that category makes it very obvious that they're like important, but like not urgent. And when you lose your steam in the workday, you can just find some easy quick wins on personal things to do. Like for example, this returning Audible books. There's this thing you can do on Audible where if you're signed in, you do have the ability to return books every few months. And I have returned a little bit too much recently, so it won't let me return books. But for books that I end up reading and I don't really enjoy as much as I thought I would, or they weren't what I planned on them being, I do return them. So I do have that little task. And even by just checking it, I can check it off from my little backlog. But as you can see here, I have my task list. I have a different set of priorities. And the final thing would be a calendar that showcases how I'm gonna go about my day. So I'm gonna just go to the day view here. All right, so when we see this list here versus my list over here of tasks, what I end up just doing is taking this integrated database and dragging things on here that I think are the most high priority. Now, as I'm going through this whole process, what ends up happening is I realize there's not enough time in the day to really do all this stuff. So for example, I actually have my brother's birthday that I'm going to, shout out, love you brother. And what I want to do is plan what I can do before I kind of head home around that 5 p.m. area. So something that I often do is because I know it's going to take me like however long to drive home. I'll just be like drive home, put a car. I had a little like tag emoji for, you know, just like planning out um, how long it's going to take to drive home, give some buffer time. I actually started doing this to make it even like earlier than it's supposed to be, where I would previously put like, oh, it's going to take half an hour. I'll put half an hour. I am the king of trying to get more work in. So I'm late to stuff. It's the most Dimitri thing I, I could possibly do. Right. And now what I have here is a, is a more refined task list um, of things. And I'll be honest, I, I actually don't think I'm going to run tomorrow. Um, this is like a recurring thing I have in my event. Maybe I'll get in a lift or something in the morning, um, but I am going to shower when I wake up and I know that. So I'm going to try to fit in some work tomorrow. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up this to be pretty much limited to what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do like shower. And I actually, I've been intermittent fasting a lot more recently, so this doesn't need it either. So it clears up my day a little bit more. But I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna shower. Um, I'm probably have lunch around like 1.30 or like noon, something like that. So let's let's just start with when you're gonna do the basic things of like wake up, sleep, uh, 
eat lunch, eat breakfast, remember to eat, it's important, I forget. And then I usually do the following. In my task list now at this point, I have a fair amount of things. Um, I have some things that I know that I don't really need to do at the moment. So what I end up doing is I categorize the ones that are actually more quick into the MRTT backlog. And as you can see, there's this thing called backlog work slash plan day. This is a 45 minutes to an hour session that I do every day, right? So I'll do 45 minutes to an hour. It's a weekend, so I tend to put it as an hour. Um, I'm trying to raise my prices consistently for the work I'm doing. I think that's more of like a later next week thing. I have push days where like I will reassess whether like new projects I want to do during the week, right? Or I'll push it to the next Saturday rather than having an inbox because anything that I remove totally from this task list is probably never going to be needed. So let's just move that to my uh, next week push. And an easy way to do this is if you do have a product like Notion where you can select multiple things at once, like this checkbox here. I'm gonna select all the different items that I know I pretty much am gonna push to like not be important until like a week from now. So I'm gonna select, I think, add new content to portfolio, this time saving, this guy, I think this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, all of these. And then I'll set the time property and do whatever select all you do in other databases and then just move it to my push date. And then also I think this guy I'm gonna move till like Wednesday. It's something I wanna do during the week, but it's not really that important. Okay, so when we have here now, is we have a list of different tasks. I'm actually not gonna probably be able to record that day. So I'm gonna get it in on Sunday, I know for those. And now this leaves us with a little bit less items to work on. All right, so we got upsell I'd like to give to a client. I have some consulting work. I think I'm probably gonna stick to pushing the consulting work because I actually don't have any responses from those clients at the moment. So I'm going to wait till like Monday to do that. And it's a recurring test. So I just deleted it. And then there's some like little mini projects I usually like to do on weekends for automations um, to solve some things. At the end of every month, I adjust service agreements and client types. And I have an issue with the current automation I need to fix. So what I'm going to do now is in the scheduling software, refresh this and you'll notice that it ends up changing it from like do 22 tasks to to closer to I think nine is a much different amount. So you see, I removed, removed a significant amount of tasks. And then two of these in here are actually just like the thing I'm doing right now, which is reconciling my task for the day. So if I go to the bottom of the screen and then I drag this onto the calendar, I have color coded calendars. So this is like my little backlog tasks for reconciling calendar and tasks. And then I have a journal, just me listening to the Bible, if we're being honest and reflecting on it uh, in an audio version. And then we put this usually when I shower or when I'm doing my backlog work slash plan days, usually when I fit that in. I just try to do it so that I have a streak going because I A, am addicted to streaks and B, just like uh, being consistent about that. So. Then what I usually do with my day is I put that backlog work slash plan day first because it's kind of that like intermediary point between I'm not fully awake and my brain power isn't at peak levels, A, and B, um, I also uh, have tasks I still need to do that require minimal brain effort, so I might as well just put that early, right? So that's what I'm doing there. And then after that, I usually put a pretty high thought task. And then later again, I go to more tasks I need to do, like file cleanup and maintenance, for example, that I know will take me like half an hour at most, but aren't that hard. So as you can see, we have this interesting way I plan where at the beginning of the day, I do the basic backlog tasks, which are going to be things like clearing out an email that's like a company email that has too much spam in it and then logging into some of my cold email accounts and fixing an issue with my newsletter and ebook. And then the other tasks, as you can see here, aren't filtered out. I filtered out those little backlog tasks and the delegate tasks, and I just see what I actually have to do. And then you can see here, there's a couple other items here, right? Um, I'm thinking of improving our writing on our team, so I definitely want to solve that. But there is a bug I need to fix in our content approval system. And I know that's going to take me like an hour and a half. I need to redo the way that we have our schedule content system regarding how we bill people and how people are like tasked with that. I think that one's actually going to take a little bit longer. Like that's like a two, an hour and a half to a two hour project. So I'm doing that. I have this upsell. I do want to make a good amount of time for that proposal. I do have this building out writing department thing. 
and then I have this. This guy's gonna be a decently quick win. I think it's gonna take me like an hour, take some decent brain work. Um, I'll move the lunch up a little bit so that this aligns time-wise more. And then I think I wanna focus on the upsell with that extra time. And I'll rush through these items that aren't as important. Ooh, actually I need to, I need to leave earlier. I need to leave closer to like 4.45, so that's wrong. So now I'm just making adjustments to the amount of time it'll take. And then I wanna focus at least an hour on that upsell. So here we go. We have my day planned out in a much better manner. So you can see there is one task remaining. And if that's still pretty high priority, I will simply just push that to the next day. And the nice thing is if I click on this in uh, Morgan, I can actually set it to after that day. So it's now Sunday because I'm planning this on a Friday. This is my Saturday. And I know you're probably saying, wait, you, you plan your Saturdays and work on Saturdays. Yeah, I run a business. It's kind of how it goes when it's early. So yeah, that's pretty much the entirety of how I would plan my day. A lot of people ask me like, what do you actually use to plan your day? That was me actually planning my day, like no irony. That's multitasking at its finest. You take a look at this task right here that says reconcile calendar and tasks. Did that while I was on this recording and was doing recording my internal videos. And then as you can see, the task is gone because I checked it off. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching how I planned my day using Notion and Morgan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.